am really excited about where our Zinfandel program is right now. It's, it's hard to imagine. It's been 22 years since we planted our first half acre right by the mouth of the driveway. And it was really done as an experiment and also just as sort of a lark to uh, give my cellar master kind of a side project because um, he was really into Zin and I really wasn't. But since I've planted it, researched our history, you know, we're one of the ghost wineries and I think the wine they made on our property from reading about it is uh, a Zinfandel with some Alicante and Carignan, which we then interplanted a couple years later, then planted another vineyard in 2007 in the Point Vineyard. And now we have these two mature vineyards producing beautiful fruit, and uh, also the addition of a little Calistoga fruit, which is this really bright, uh, light-colored, light-bodied, beautifully high-toned Zin. Um, and these wines can age beautifully. I mean, we're going to have a library selection to go with this, but I also recommend laying some of this 2016 down for as long as you possibly can. I mean, the 98 is drinking great right now, but I want to get to the heart of the matter, which is food and wine pairing. So I'm going to give you not only my favorite Zin pairing, but one of my favorite all-time pairings uh, from a restaurant in LA um, a couple of years ago. So it was a, a beet and beef tartare. Beets were cooked and cubed a quarter inch. They really blended with the little beef nodes. 50-50. And then on top of that, a, a pomegranate drizzle. And then that was put on top of a little puddle of whole grain mustard on a whole grain cracker and then sprinkled with basil microgreens. So you brought out the, the, the sweet fruit of the Zen. You brought out the, the, the herbaceousness with the microgreens. You brought out some of the savory spice tones with the, with the mustard. And then you had that great texture of raw beef and beets that was just delicious. And the Zinfandel was served in a burgundy glass. And this may come as a surprise to some people, but Zinfandel by nature is closer to Pinot Noir than it is to any other varietal we work with. It's generally light to medium bodied, light to medium colored. I know you're used to seeing Zinfandel in a, a black format, but that's because of Petit Syrah. I think Zinfandel is not a standalone varietal, but the addition of the two extra varietals, Alicante Boucher and Carignan, add to Zinfandel without taking away from its beautiful, nuanced uh, personality, its brightness and subtlety, the mentholated herbaceousness and the cool zones, and then the, uh, the warm, more medicinal and marrow-like tones, but you get that bright fruit, that sweet note in the nose. Uh, but this wine is dry and made as a table wine, just like all our wines, same alcohol, and is a marvelous food wine. So uh, enjoy this 2016 while it is available. Uh, roughly 180 cases left, and as I said before, this is one you can lay down for a long time. Cheers.